Alright, so we're going to be doing a few things this video. We're going to be opening up our final 10 wins house rule pack. If you guys don't know, house rules are done after this week. So pretty much, you're going to have to grind out everything else that you want through a regular head-to-head -head seasons. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I do believe that Weekend League will be around for a little bit more. So, you know, you you know, you're, every week you'll be able to get something if you're willing to deal with the struggles of playing against, uh, you know, human opponent psychos uh, every Weekend League. But... Right here, we got 75 uh, online game wins, and then after that, we should be able to get the um, the 10 wins pack, or we might have to go into the objective screen and come back out, whatever. But there it is right there. All right, so good. They finally gave it to us right away where we're supposed to have it. So we're about to get really glitchy, and before we open the pack, you guys know what it is. This is the final one. So I need all the hate, everything that you guys got, everything inside your body that makes you just want to hate for no... Ex no, no, bro, you have no reason to do it. But when you look at yourself in the mirror, your penile is probably very, very minuscule. Bruh, minuscule. But regardless with that, we're going to all go together. And we're going to come together for this one last thing. Regardless of the hate, bro. And we're going to do the prayer. All of us together now. Ooh, me ya, hoo ye, hoo she. Snarf! Alright, let's do it. Now, I know a lot of you guys hating, dog. But we about to, bro, listen. Bro, you guys can be hating all you want. Oh, oh, okay. That dude is garbage. What's this? That one's garbage too. Stefan Diggs though? Who was telling me that Stefan Diggs was raw though? Somebody was telling me that Stefan Diggs was just straight glitchy. What is this garbage? Oh, a position hero 99 Chris. Okay, so this is not even that bad. See, this right here, this is actually really glitchy. I'm going to tell you why. The dude's garbage, but it doesn't matter that he's trash. He's 52,000... Uh, training points. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's no way possible that he'll ever make it into my lineup, but... For the fact, okay, he got 97 block shed though. Like this, dude, what? What is this about? He's just very, very slow. But I can't have that guy out there because he wouldn't be able to chase down Michael Vick. All right, so look, my pack luck is great right there, dog. Like, for me to get that 99, that's really, really good. And um, you know, with the new releases of position heroes coming out, that's gonna actually help us a lot. So we don't, we don't really have much issues with what's going on. So we're gonna definitely be all set with that. So let's go ahead and back out of that. And let's start to, uh, you know, pretty much get an idea of what we're going to be doing. Now, like I told you guys, it will be absolutely no reason ever at any time that I'm going to need, that I'm going to need that actual card, right? So what we're going to do is we just gained ourselves 52,000 free training points from EA Sports. That's pretty much what we just did. All right. So we're going to go ahead without even looking at what he's probably going for like what 170 something. It's no way he's going for anything. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're going to take the 52,000 training. And then we're going to start to, you know, pretty much plan for the future. That's what we're going to be actually doing right now. Because we don't really need to do anything else as far as, um, you know, looking to actually complete anything else other than the position heroes that are going to be coming out uh, very, very soon. So other than that, let me go ahead and check something out. I was looking to see uh, along the week how they're going to release these other solos. Because some of you guys were asking. To my knowledge, all they've released is this week one set, right? So you sh everybody should have at least one. Because I have one token. Because obviously you're going to get another free one uh, in another two weeks with, as far as position heroes go. So if you don't want the position heroes or you don't like what EA is giving you, just simply quick sell it for the training and use it to get other stuff that you can utilize. All right. So like it's, it's a win-win. But like I said, regardless of what you choose to do with it, I think in my case, because of what we've been seeing happening, it probably is the smartest thing to do is to just quick sell it for training ASAP effective immediately. All right. Now, going back to the team itself, what you guys are probably asking, okay, you, you, you quick sold them, you went through all that trouble, everything like that, like what is the actual plan? This is what the actual plan is. We're trying to stay afloat until rookie premieres because none of the, no matter what they release right now, it's not going to get anybody too excited unless you're trying to put together like a theme team or something like that. It doesn't really, it's not really going to be that exciting because the market I don't see how they can fix the, mar the market this late in the year. I think this is going to help Madden 20 because they're going to be able to um, understand that people are on to them. You see what I'm saying? Like They can't just put out whatever they want because people are understanding that all the cards play the same. See, that's what the primary issue is. Because all the cards play the same and everybody understands that, there is no market. There was a time when cards were like really, really good and you knew the difference. Right now, I'm just letting you guys know, regardless of what anybody's saying, like, I will be. I will tell you this though, that Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna be giving you guys some gameplay with it. He really does throw the ball a lot better than probably every quarterback that I've used this year, including Kyler Murray. Like he does throw the ball better because I notice a lot of um, the the short passes, the short high point passes. He's very very accurate with that. 
And like I said, it could just be like, you know, the first time I'm using them, you know, like how you get a new card and EA is like, yeah, let's soup them up a little bit. And then you play with them again and then they suck. It could be that. Like, I'm not going to say that that can't be an issue, but I use Aaron Rodgers for a gameplay that I'm going to be uh, getting out to you guys as soon as possible. You guys already know what you got to do. Bro, 250 likes, you're going to get that video right away, dog. Probably could watch it, you know what I'm saying, while you're at work, dog, with your boss looking at you. But it don't really matter. I'm going to get you out that video uh, as soon as possible. Um... We're going to go ahead and open up a gold player pack, though, to get our daily objective. And then I'm going to take you guys into my, my actual lineup, and we're going to talk about some of the things that are coming very soon. What's that? Uh, 87? All right, Cole Beasley. I could just... Hold up. 86, 87. Okay, so you can actually go... This dude's forehead is mean, though. You could actually go into uh, um, Elite Token set, correct? Oh, let me see what you're doing. Uh, T.Y. Hilton, too, Free Agency Master. Well, that, that don't really matter, though. But the Elite Token you could go into, I just wanted to make sure. All right, so... Now that we understand exactly what the actual game plan is, we are going to look and see, as far as position heroes go, right, what are we looking for? Because some of you guys have been saying, like, Willie Roast Beef Sandwich, he's, you know, he's had his last day. Some of the, some, like, that Villanueva, that dude is a glitch, all right? He's mad tall and big, but like I said, I don't know if he's going to block anybody. That, that's my issue. When you guys are saying, like, yo, g yo, all these position heroes, they garbage, but a couple of them are good. That's my issue. Willie Roast Beef Sandwich, this, this guy over here, dog, like he, I don't know if he's a turnstile. I don't know what he is, but for the most part, he's always going to let everybody in. Now, when you look at his numbers, though, it doesn't make any sense because it's like, yo, how does this guy have, you know, it's 99s in major parts. He has a 99 strength. He lets dudes right into the backfield. So that's obviously an issue for me. Um, I do want to revamp everybody and start to, you know, adjust to what's going on. I definitely want to do that for you guys. But I also want to make sure that the team is intact for what we're trying to do. Because you got to remember, like, we're plugging players in and out, right? So it's better if we have the right system in the core. Now, the Legends Pass offense, um, Legends Passing, like we have the 30 of 30 of, it kind of works with everything that I'm doing because I can interchange the other players with like, you know, zone run chemistry and stuff like that and just actually have them in there and interchange that as a current player and everybody gets all the, you know, the adjustments to it. Like Vernon Davis, he's going to get his spin move. He's going to get the, all the extra things that are going in. I don't really have to worry about all that because I know that I have the core of the legends passing. When If I start to go ahead and start putting so many position heroes in, I'm going to start to have to figure out how to put in other cards. That's one of the reasons why I have that one player. Where's this guy at? Hold on. I'm going to show you the guy I'm talking about because this guy, um, Kellen Winslow, he's the uh, he's like the out of position uh, wide receiver. He's only there because he adds the plus one Legends Chem. And then I literally had to add all of that into Ricky Williams to make that, you know, passing Legends Chem work. So this is the thing that I'm trying to explain to you guys. Some of you guys are trying to already start revamping your team with the position heroes. That's fine, bro. If, if you listen at this point right now, most of your wide receivers with the John Madden coach and the sprinter cam is going to get that 99 speed, but I'm not ready yet to get rid of, you know, Chad Johnson. That dude's a goon. Jerry Rice, you know, he's garbage, but you know, like I said, I'm not going to get rid of all of his stuff and then gamble with uh, his tokens and not really get anything. So he's just chilling right now, but I'm not going to tell you that the guy is good. This guy right here. He drops wide open passes. This dude couldn't catch a cold butt naked in the winter, dog. This dude sucks. But, 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 hear me out. Hear me out, though. When you look at his numbers, it just looks pretty. That's it. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say that. Like, everything looks pretty. I, I don't know why they didn't just give him a 99 jumping to just make it, you know, whatever. But, again, his numbers are very, very good. When, when he had, like, the only thing that I would probably want to do with him, though, if I go to Legends Pass, oh, right? And give everybody the spin move. I'm going to show you what's going to be happening with this guy. Because I think that John Madden coach gives up everybody a plus one spin with the rushing, right? So his, his spin move would be a little bit OP. He would be up to like a 96 spin move. That would be the only reason that I would go to balanced offense with Legends. But it all depends on how everything works out. I'm waiting to see if they give me another card as far as the position heroes go that I can actually utilize. Because if I don't have any use for these cards, like the way that they're releasing them, the only card that I'm probably going to go after, right, is Zach Ertz. And I'm going to go after Zach Ertz simply because he can get deep route chem and also because pretty much I could put him together with training points, all right? I could easily go and buy him right now with whatever his price is going for, but it doesn't really matter. You see what I'm saying? I could even, sh let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Like everybody, everybody is so cheap 
I could just simply go do that, and he is a little bit slower. I think he only goes up to like a 90 speed. I did rage sell Jeremy Shockey because he couldn't block. Some of I know he has a, and also this guy has a lower lower blocking um, rating than um, than Shockey. But like I said, the way that the way that these players play and the um, the things that they have with them, you know, with certain certain traits that these players have that EA puts out, they're, they're like secret traits. Like he's 190, right? And let me just give you guys an idea. He's going to go to a 90 speed because I'm, obviously I'm not going to power him all the way up, right? His run block is lower than Shockey's, but he gets deep route run. All right, so look, this is what could happen, right? Now I can manipulate all kinds of plays just because he gets that deep route chemistry. The deep route run is just really, really glitchy simply because that crosser route is dangerous. Now, some of you guys might be like, yo, but bro, G. Maya, he's only a, you know, a 90 speed. He's not going to be able to get anywhere. Okay, if that's what you want to think. You see what I'm saying, bro? This is Madden 19. He's going to burn Deion Sanders on a crosser. And, 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 I'm, and the person that I'm playing against is going to like it because he's going to be like, yo, this is Madden 19. It's in the game. We're all used to this kind of stuff that's going on. So, again, we'll cam him up. He's probably somebody that I would probably, um, you know, I'll look to complete and uh, get him into the squad a little bit, try to, you know, man manipulate the defense because what's been happening is ever since I started Vernon Davis, he hasn't, like, he hasn't lived up to expectations. The dude is dropping wide open passes. He's being an idiot. It's a lot of things going on that I'm just, uh, you know, disgusted with. So what we could do right now, just to give you guys some insight, also, Villain the Waver, that dude, like I said, this guy, he, he looks very, very glitchy. Like, I was just about to just rage sell everybody on my team and put him on, you know, just put him on the squad. Now, look, this is what would happen, right? If I go and I, and I cam up the 96 and 97 using training points, that's going to cost me about 26 thou. Then I could go 94, 95, 92, 93. I can get four of those, um, of, of those uh, Tony Gonzalez's, the uh, Ghost of Madden Pass, and pretty much do it for around 50,000 training. So the 50,000 training pretty much is what we just quick sold uh, Chris Jones for. That would go into making this guy. And then we would see how he plays. If you guys wanted to see that, that's up to you. Let me know if you guys want to see it. Otherwise, I'll just leave it the way it is and just not, you know, keep dealing with Vernon Davis being an idiot. Also, remember, he has like an 82 spin, so he'll get chem to 85. He should be able to spin. I've, I have not had issues with players that have been in the 80s spinning. It's when they're like in the 70s that EA just doesn't even make them turn, bro. Like they literally can't move from side to side. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much how EA is rolling. And that's that's where it is. So uh, guys like Kyle Z -Z 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 or, or Zeus check, like that dude right there, we might end up buying him too just for his run block and his, um, you know, his lead blocking. But we have to wait to see how that works. But at this point right now, I just wanted you guys to be aware it is officially the last House Rules event. Um, we are going to be doing some um, head-to-head -head seasons very very soon we also will be doing some 2k19 uh coming soon shout out to everybody that helped me out with 2k though because i have no idea what i'm doing and you guys just you know laid out all the feedback for me and i'm definitely appreciative appreciative of it i'm gonna do my best to keep you guys proud bro i'm gonna go out in these streets uh these nba 2k19 streets and just put in work dog for the streets and that's pretty much you know pretty much gonna be it so you guys will probably see me roaming around looking for games very soon probably in park and stuff like that um, you know, I'll be getting it in. So, yo, just, you know, take a look out for it. Subscribe. Go ahead on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at G Myers World. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.